wakey wakey, eggs and bakey. Today is the Feast of the Devourer. It is lost with the inescapable march of time what exactly is the purpose of the feast, but it has something to do with providing a counterpoint for the tooth harvest. Something something, eat before you are eaten. All that really remains of the indoctrination of your youth is the memories of tracing outlines of oversized mouths to secure to your desks. Children would perform pageants to celebrate the saga of the Devourer and take turns eviscerating one another under the careful supervision of Teacher. Teacher knows all. Teacher sees all. Teacher consumes all. So many teeth. You teleport into your kitchen to find that your sleep paralysis demon has played sous chef again, prepping some of the more labor-intensive dishes. After all, the Feast of the Devourer is a time for family. In the absence of family, it is a time for intentional gluttony. This is known. Your personal assistant has left you a series of complex sigils in front of your oven industrial complex. It appears to be directions on how to finish cooking the meal, with specific time indications as to when each task is to be completed. Which is ridiculous, because time is a conspiracy that has been established to sell clocks. But you're a team player. 1. Place the phoenix in the void well. Note, this is a single step process. The phoenix is self-cooking. 2. Flash boil millions of gallons of seawater using a meteor storm off the coast of the Sea of Tranquility. Do not believe what they tell you about the lack of water on the moon. You've been to the moon. You remember these things, despite losing faith in the concept of memory. Once the water is boiled, place 10 potato eggs inside the water until they become gelatinous. 3. Set the table. There is a box beneath the floorboards in the necromancer's outer sanctum that has the decorations for the walls. You will know them when you see them. Follow your heart. It is located in a jar in your window shelf. It whispers softly when your mind is quietest. Center yourself and listen. Use the nice tablecloth. 4. Drain the red planet. Note. You know what this means. 5. Enjoy! You complete the tasks as they are outlined, making sure to complete them in fastidious detail. You added a few extra side dishes as phoenix and potatoes are hardly a fitting meal. You used your creativity and years of education at Butter College to just whip something up. There's a knock at the door. Your feline overlord's running high. Entertaining is not a thing that we do anymore, but apparently, on the Feast of the Devourer, we make an exception. You walk to the door and open it to find no one standing before you. You give him a warm hug and invite him in. As you turn your back, you see sitting around your dinner table, your guests. Asmodeus. The Cheese Goblin. Your car. The Amazon, the unrelenting feeling of failure, and of course, Rose with a Y. Suddenly it dawns on you that you forgot to complete the final step. You commence enjoyment. It's so good to sit down at the table with friends again. Once the meal is finished, you take a reverent moment to remember the reason for the season. Everyone at the table eyes each other with anticipation. The real feast is about to begin. Season's greetings from us here in the subspace vortex to you and yours. Until next time, enjoy! enjoy, enjoy.